When you're going for an offensive mortar, you want to have the mortar right here at the bridge, one tile back, either in the middle or one to the right. And I see a lot of people making a mistake where they play the mortar right here in the middle. Watch here, and I play the mortar in the middle, and then the opponent counters with something as simple as bats. My towers aren't going to attack the bats, so it's really hard to defend my mortar from that position. If I go for the exact same mortar along the bridge here, and then the opponent plays bats, my tower pretty much takes out the bats, and my mortar will survive with about half HP. Now the exception to this rule is if they have a card that targets your mortar. So you can see here, I can play my mortar more to the middle, and his E-Giant is forced to walk around, and then I can play my Little Prince to help defend, and my mortar will fire on the tower that I was getting damage on. This is a strategy I almost always use, but you need to make sure you're using it properly. If you use this wrong, you're going to lose the game. You can even use this strategy against Golem sometimes to pull the Golem in towards your mortar and then get a shot on the Night Witch and then pull everything in to get amazing fireball value. This same rule applies for cards like Hog Rider or cards like Giant or Goblin Giant.